Mariupol was once a thriving port city. After weeks of Russian bombardment, this is what it looks like now. This woman says a lot of residents have died. A young woman was killed with her child in front of our eyes. This massive steelworks is the last stand in resistance here. Ukrainian soldiers inside are refusing Russian demands to surrender, but they're becoming increasingly desperate. This is our appeal to the world. This could be the last appeal of our lives. We are probably facing our last days, if not hours. The enemy is outnumbering us 10 to 1. Ukraine has reached agreement with Russia for a so-called humanitarian corridor to evacuate civilians, but previous attempts have failed. It would be good if they would allow um, civil citizens to leave Azovstal territory or to leave the city, but they didn't allow this for 50 days. Why should they allow this now? The Ukrainian president has called the situation in Mariupol severe and once again appealed for more weapons. If we had access to all the weapons we need, which our partners have, and which are comparable to the weapons used by the Russian Federation, we would have ended this war, we would have restored peace and liberated our country from the occupiers. Ukrainian officials say around 100,000 residents are still trapped in Mariupol. Local troops insist they won't surrender. But the city is surrounded by Russian forces and time is running out. Leila Hayes, 5 News.